Hey, this is Chris from Guitarist. I'm Lee from Andertons. And we're here with Mike, who's going to show us the new Squire guitars for 2015 at NAMM 2015 in the Fender booth. So, Mike, what have you got for us? I, where Squire starts is here in the Affinity series. This is where we, where all new guitarists come. And this, uh, this is what we're about. We go start in our Affinity series, and this is the Intender, the Beginner, Budget Conscious. And then we roll over into our classic Fender designs. This is the classic stuff that you would expect to see. New in the classic series is the Sherwood Green matching headstock. Robin Hood <clears throat> would be deeply proud of how close you have um, captured the color of Sherwood, I'm sure. That's a cool yeah, guitar, isn't it? Yes. It's a really cool color. I like the matching right. headstock as well. Yeah, it's a really nice appointment. I don't know if you saw, you should, I did a video last summer where I relicked uh, a classic vibe strat and made it into like a Clapton strat. And it's now one of my favorite, favorite <laughs> guitars that I own in my whole collection. So I can thoroughly endorse these. These are awesome. In fact, that was the exact guitar that I relicked. Ah, oh, they're, they're beautiful. Yeah. As well as the Burgundy Mist, we did the same thing. Matching headstock, 60s style vibe. <clears throat> Quite surfy, isn't it? That sort of Another vibe. new thing is the uh, Inca Silver on the J-Bass. It just gives it another classy. Are they big, feel. just big old brass saddles on there, mm -hmm. or are they just they're not plated to sort of look like brass? They're actual brass. No, they're saddles. yeah. They're huge. It just aren't has they, those things. Makes you want to play it's bass. Cool. If, moving on bases still. If you stay on bases over here, what we did, we have a new color for the for the precision bass. Yeah. And then a brand new bass here. Um, 70s bass, block inlays, maple neck. I love the bridge cover. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then get enough chrome. Yes. And the tin on the neck, it just gives you that. You know, you, you walk into a store, you might be a guitarist and you might be looking at pedals, and then you look over and see a bass for your studio. You know, it's a perfect thing. You're, you're, you're a pro. Mm -hmm. Physically, what, do you, where does, what does that do? I mean, I know what it does, but what. Did you rest it like this or rest well, it like I'm, this? Well, I mean, or? I'm a guitar player who plays bass, right? So I use a plectrum for a start, which right. is like kind of I've not I've never really understood where and, that, yeah. what the, what do you do with that? Do you know, Mike? Well, a lot of bass players will, will bass their, their, if they play with their thumb and stuff, they'll... they'll so it is literally just like that to just sort of give you a bit of... A bit of support. It's, a weird, mm. it's authentic. That's it's, all we need to know. It's a conversation piece. It is a conversation piece. Yeah. Uh, and thin line telly. And that's, that's really new, nice. is it? And that's, just, that's pretty. Pretty amazing. Genuine Fender pickups on it as well? Or? Big, big old humbuckers. It's really light as well. Nice guitar. Nice guitar. What finishes does that come in a natural as well? Yeah, it does come in a natural and in the uh, sunburst. Very nice, very nice. Anything oh, else new? Uh, heading over to the contemporary side of the building here. Uh, on the contemporary stuff, you'll see high mass bridges and humbuckers, that kind of thing. We launched the Dimension series this year at NAM. We've got uh, four and five strings in, in a couple different colors. So this is kind of the Dimension was. Um, it's a boost cut circuit. The whole vibe though was just a bit more contemporary than the jazz and the P, wasn't it? It is. Um, and give us know, a place to Maybe play. going off, you know, maybe trying to do something in the vein of a sort of a flat fish with a tail with a stinger on the end of it, sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Well, humbucker bass, like high that. mass bridge. That's nice. I like, the, yeah. I like the heel joint there. Just points up towards our, you know, the big brother on the fender side, you know. It's the, <coughs> making sure that we have a good representation, that we bring mm. people into the fold. Give them an option if they're budget conscious. Again, it might be the guitarist that's looking for a bass for a studio, something like that. It might be a bass player that just really just wants to rock a squire. Um, also new is the baritone Antigua. Antigua. Yes, this is a, it's kind of one of those colors that we put out every once in a while and then pull back. We're having a lot of fun basically with all the words that Americans say differently to English people. Ah, so nice. This is one of them. Well, it's not like you guys started the language. No, or I know. We've got no claim to it, have yeah. we? I mean, it's just, you know. This, um, that finish always makes me think of a cup of coffee. Yeah, it looks it's like a bit like of lemonge or something. Like latte or, burst. Maybe. I like it, though. Uh, a so, neat thing about this is 30 inch scale. I was going to say, it's a 30 inch yeah. scale, is it? And strung with gigantic strings. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's this slightly weird 
sort of bridge system here. It's a really neat little bridge that was designed by uh, Chris Fleming oh, okay. from the custom shop. Yeah. You seen that before? Did, weren't they on a couple of, didn't you have a Jaguar or a Jazzmaster in the Squire range that had a similar bridge to that a couple of years back, maybe? Some short scale. Yeah, yeah I think so, yeah, offset bodies anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think I've seen it before on those, but not maybe for a couple of years. That's cool, uh, that's the only colour that comes in, is it? Yes, that's, uh, <coughs> that's the only colour. I like it, I like it. What else we got? Got something with some drawing on it? Oh no, that's old, isn't it? Eva Gardner's one. Yep, Eva Gardner, you have the Troy Sanders, uh, Jay Mascus, uh, which is, you know, a really awesome instrument. Uh, the J John Five and yep, Gold. Yeah, seen those. Okay. Anything else new? That's it. Those that's are the it. Cool. Wow, that's cool. Thank, thank you very much, man. Thank you. Cheers. Right, there we go. Thank you very much.